Hello everyone, this is Tyler, also known as Genetic Spartan, and if you watched my playthrough of The Legend of Old Baby Man, uh, that was a game that I did during a 48 hour game jam about a year ago, and I did another game jam this weekend, and this is the game that I worked on. Uh, pretty much it's like a proof of concept, more or less. Um, this won't be uh, what it'll be in the final game, but I do plan to work on a full-fledged game with this kind of gameplay. But you're a guy who can warp between two points in time. So in this demo, uh, you start off in like a medieval era setting and you can switch between that and a post-apocalyptic future type setting. So you can see I'm stuck in this dungeon, I can't get out. So what I'll do is I'll warp to the future. And now the door has pretty much gotten old and rotted off its hinges, so now I can step out of here. And, um, there is pretty much no place for me to go. I'll go back to the past. You can see the, the fire is working. Oh, oh, there's the guard. Hey, maybe he can help us. Hey, do you know what year it is? Hey, where are you going? Oh, look, a key. Uh, so I'll grab the key. Maybe I can go through this door. No, that, that's not working. Uh, okay, so there's a hole up here, but there's nothing here for me to use. Uh, maybe that door. I'll go to the future, and what I can do is I can pick up this door here. And I'll throw it over here, and I'll take it, and I'll, like, pry it up. Uh, that's good enough. Now I can walk up it, and I'll jump down here. So you can see, we're in the future, and this castle has long been since abandoned and there's a lot of foliage everywhere and overgrowth and the gardener just pretty much didn't do his job so uh, now I notice that I'm kind of stuck down here I'll go back to the past and see what's going on okay so in the past this was a sewer so now there's full of water and I can swim over here and swim up here uh, that is a picture of a picture of a pixel sloth long story uh, now I got the key so I can use it to open this gate here and that will open jump out here now I'm outside and there's the castle and some nice sun rays now if I jump to the future you can see that the river is now full of lava and there's this big futuristic looking tower here and it's night alright so you can see that there's something up there on the ledge now there's lava blocking my path so I'll just jump over that Alright, so I think I gotta go to that tower over there. I know I gotta go to that tower because I made the game. Alright, so there's a statue that has fallen. I'll take that and I'll just throw it in the lava just because. Oh, there's the sloth again. Now, since I did that in the future, it doesn't affect my past. So I'll go back to the past and you can see that the statue is perfectly fine. And now there's a little pedestal here. Now if I stepped up, step up to the pedestal, the statue is going to think I'm unworthy, and it will shoot me across the map. Alright, so I'll go to the future real quick, and we'll land safely on this futuristic dock. Uh, saving me from my lover, lavery death. Yes, lavery death. So I'll go into this building here. Alright, so another door. And this is an elevator, it'll take me up to the top floor. Now we'll see this little statue here. It's like an ancient relic that uh, looks like that uh, statue that was over there, but smaller. So I'll grab that, and now I have it. Uh, there's Lava Redeath. Um, this, this elevator's not working anymore. Uh, what I'll do is I'll jump to the past, and the building will be gone, and I'll land safely in the water. So, so that's the kind of cool scenarios that would be in the game different interesting things like that to get you to where you need to go so now I got the statue I brought it from the future into the past so you can bring things from between past and future to help you progress all right so I'm gonna take it up to the statue and see if he likes me all right, I'm gonna place it and the fire turns blue, and yes, that is the end of this demo here. Alright, so that's pretty much uh, the game. The game mechanics, in a nutshell. You can go between past and future, and you can bring stuff with you.
to progress and stuff that you do in the past can affect your affect your future and I th I'm think I'm gonna like come up with a story to wrap around the game and give it like a purpose and something to strive for I guess um, so yeah uh, if you have any ideas like interesting uh, different interactive elements or little scenarios like the building and falling in the water uh, feel free to leave in the comments and uh, I'll look through them and see if I can find some good ideas to add in the game that you guys want to share. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you liked this. I, I, I like the idea and I hope to work on the game soon. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.